One of the most important factors to think about when designing components is whether or not they can be manufactured. In the case of CNC milling, this means ensuring that the geometry designed can be created using milling tools. Milling tools come in varying sizes and geometries, each has its unique benefits and pitfalls. As a rule of thumb, larger tools are used for roughing operations to remove the bulk of the material as they can remove more material quicker and their size makes them strong enough to handle the large forces of high material volume removal. Once most of the material is removed, usually progressively smaller tools are used for the successive semi-finishing and finishing strategies. Smaller tools can also remove material in hard to reach areas until the part can be finished with the smallest tool to give a high quality surface finish. Flat end mills are useful for 2D milling strategies and creating vertical walls as they produce 2D flat contours because of their geometry. Ball nose end mills, as the name suggests, have a radius end making them useful for producing 3D and freeform parts and geometries. Bull nose end mills are end mills with a tip radius around their edge. They're useful for roughing strategies as due to this radius geometry they are stronger. They can also be used for producing fillets along the bottom of pockets or profiles. Usually larger than standard flat end mills, face mills are used for machining the top surface of a part very quickly. They can also be used for removing large volumes of material for roughing operations. Chamfers are usually added to sharp corners of parts in order to reduce the risk of injury when handling. Chamfer mills are useful for adding these chamfers around edges and profiles. As the name suggests, drills are used to create holes in parts. Depending on the material that the drill is made from dictates its drill tip angle. For example, high speed steel drills use 118 degrees, whereas for carbide drills, this increases to 140 degrees. Reamers are used to create extremely precise holes where very exact tolerances are needed, for example, dowel location holes. Machine taps are used to create internal threads in holes. They ensure very accurate perpendicularity to the hole surface when compared to tapping the hole manually. Thread mills can be used to machine both very accurate internal and external threads. These may be used over a machine tap if the thread needs to have a very large diameter. It is important to ensure that the size and geometry of tools you have access to are kept in mind when designing a part. This can prevent the need for redesign of an unmanufacturable part, which could lead to unforeseen stoppages and setbacks in the manufacturing process.